Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at this very interesting power bank from Blavor. 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 So I want to thank Blavor for sending this out to us free of charge for our consideration. And in the box you get a little D-ring key ring. A USB type A to type C adapter, the manual, a warranty card, and a ramen noodle flavoring packet. Wow, that's big. That's what she said. All right. So here's my my standard power bank I use. So once you see the difference in size between them so you can get an idea. But what I think makes this one unique is that it is a solar charging bank. And if you can see right there, can you see the lights blinking? It's charging right now. Let me uh, turn off these overheads. There, now you can see them. Let's shed some more light on the subject. So we've got four separate panels there. And in those panels, let's see, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 cells so if we assume you know half a volt per cell what we got here one volt two volt three volt four volt five volt six seven eight nine ten so we're assuming 11 volts and these are probably in parallel i really don't want to tear this apart because it's going to belong to one of you when we reach 100,000 subscribers. Yes, this is going to be another prize in our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, their claim is 20,000 hours of capacity. We're going to find that out. Yeah, button it, button, button this. This is designed for a lot of outdoor use. You can see here we have a compass. And we also have a flashlight, and then this is more like a LED flood type light. Trying to figure out how to turn it on. I guess I'm going to have to RTFM, huh? All right, how do we do it? First, press the power button for three seconds. Okay. Power button. Three seconds. One, two, three. Oh, there's the flashlight. Camping light function. There's our camping light. Quite bright. Short presses adjust the level. Now we turn it off. There we go. Now we're off. So we've got USB-C, USB micro, standard, and quick charge adapters in here. So let's hook it up. We'll go, uh, yeah, we can go through this one to start out with. Nope, that one's not going to fit in there. So we'll go with this one. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's showing me nothing, no output, which is fine. We didn't really think there'd be any output at that point. Actually, yeah, here we go. What we'll do, we'll plug it into the load bank which is right now set for half an amp. 
<laughs> Gotta get all these things twisted in the right order. Well, it said it was outputting. I don't think I did I kill it. There we go. So let's turn on the the load. Come on, load, turn on. <laughs> it's funny trying to get all these things working at once. Come on. Okay. 27. Come on, just turn on. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn on because there's no there's no active load here. Okay, we're having fun. One moment. Okay, for whatever reason, this electronic load did not want to activate. So I swapped to this old one that is in my little uh, desktop kit here. And as you can see, uh, it's putting out 4.96 at half an amp. That's 2.48 watts. And in the 30 seconds or so it's run, it's put out. 0.009 amp hours So I fully charged this before we started and I am now going to Fully discharge it and we'll be able to see what it is able to put out Before it completely dies. So we want to put that on amp hours And we'll see what she has to say when she's done I imagine this is going to take a few hours, so I'll be back when it's over. Well, that took some time, but it's finally done. You read what that says? It says 3059 amp hours. That was the second time through. This thing only counts up to 9999, so... That would be uh, 13,061 milliamp hours. So a little over 13,000 milliamp hours. Not quite the 20,000 that they promised, but still, uh, it's fine. I've noticed that with a lot of banks. Um, I believe they, they, um, they, they base their stated capacity on the actual cells of the battery, and then when you do go through the 5-volt converter, you know, things are going to change. So our next thing we're going to do is we are going to hook this guy up. And we are going to see how well it charges. So let's see if we can't charge power bank. power bank yes yeah, charging it uh I know you probably can't see that let's see if we can zoom in there One point three amps at five volts, and that's out of the standard uh, USB. Let's switch that over to the quick charge. And we'll see what happens there. It's still one point three amps, so it charges just fine. We had a little reset there. That's interesting. Okay. So, like I said, she charges great. Charging here just fine. The, the one thing I don't like is they put your power indicators kind of underneath of there. They might have been better here or even on top there. 
something like that along those lines but that's a minor thing all in all I like the power bank it feels rugged well constructed I like the camping light I think that is a uh, a really nice feature you know when you have the uh, the ability to charge this thing in the wilderness so to speak having that nice camping light I think is a pretty good idea so you can set that up however you want I would recommend you set it up into the Sun you know kind of like that and you've got portable power to take with you so this will be one of the prizes that I give away when we reach 100,000 subscribers. There's a form down below, a Google form you need to fill out. You need to be a subscriber to win. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Blaver. Big thanks to the train for coming by while I'm doing a video. That's it. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>